we're going to create a new welcome email. Um, first thing is to log into your MailChimp account. Then we're going to click on automation and customer journeys. Then we're going to click on create journey. We're going to call it welcome email. Now we can choose a starting point. The, if you want to send it to everyone that signed up to your list, you want to click on signups. If you want to have a specific form in Wix that starts a specific automation, you can use tags. In Wix, any contact that has a label added to it gets automatically a tag assigned. So if we click on tag, we're going to see a list of all of the Wix labels we have. And these are the ones that some that we've created here. Um, in this particular example, we're going to go with signups, everyone that sign up. And we're not going to include important contacts unless you want to import specific contacts. And we're going to click on save starting point. In the most basic example, we're just going to click on sending one email as soon as the audience signs up. So this is the trigger now. And we want to put an action here, which is the send email. We're going to drag it onto the plus sign. And we can click and customize it. Um, to and from email the subject the default is email contacts we're going to edit it and we can say something like welcome to the family we're going to save it and we're going to design it just like any other mailchimp template uh, depending on your plan you might have more layouts um, you can just go with this one for example Maybe not this one, the basic one. I'm going to customize it to say, welcome to our newsletter, or as I said, as part of a paid plan, you'll have an option to select more templates. For our purpose, we're just going to click on save and return to journey. Uh, just to double check, we see that this is now the email that's going to get sent. And you can edit it, preview it, close, and that's it. Um, it's still in draft mode, so we can close it here. And um, based on your plan, you'll be able to activate it from draft to live mode. Now, you can also use more advanced journeys that MailChimp already creates. Uh, for example, this default journey gets an email automatically, then time delay for two days, another email with some more information, two more days, and then you can keep customizing it based on actions that they take, purchasing orders, etc., etc.